Hey, you guys, it's Anne Marie. Happy Magnetic Monday. Ooh, ooh, raise the roof for Monday. <laughs> I know, I'm strange. I, I love it. I love me. I um, hope everybody's having a great long weekend. If you had today off, um, I thought we would continue and continue to uh, pull some cards. I'm not going to report. I don't give a shit. Uh, pull some cards to get some message of clarity for those of you who would like it. And thank you to the full flower moon. I got to slow down on my moon water drinking. I'm already through half a bottle. Alrighty. Oh, hi. You can't see. We got the boat. We can see the tail. It's not mine. <laughs> it's BZ and Galaxy. They're both behind me. Alrighty. So. What is the vibe? What is the vibe for the collective spirit? Thank you, Archangel Michael. Archangel Ezekiel. Hi, divine beings, sources of light and energy. Thank you, universe, Mother Earth, Mother Gaia. Thank you to fire, air, water, earth. Thank you to the west, the north, the east, the south. Can we please get some mess? Oh, good job. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, what do you want from me? <sighs> All right. Shit. The vibe is clingy chaos. <laughs> clingy. Old exes. Damn. Dead relationships. Old ways. <laughs> There's still a heart at the end of the door, but you know it's interesting. This door is locked in so many locations. It's locked here, here. Looks like there's another lock over here. Still a little heart there on the door. Chaos, upheaval, disaster, downfall. And there's a tornado here in a field. Tornadoes may be of significance to you. So there's somebody, possibly an ex. This could be an ex-romantic partner, ex-friend, an ex-connection. Whatever you've walked away from. This is someone that you have clearly walked away from. And they're not wanting to let go of you. Um, even if you're not in contact with them, you may feel them pulling on your energy out of the blue. If you start thinking about somebody, <laughs> excuse me, and you're wondering like, I could give two shits about this person. Why are they in my energy? Why am I having dreams about them? They're pulling on your energy because they're not wanting to let you go. Spirit is also saying, um, and I don't like to do fear mongling type of uh, messages, but I just read the cards and get the downloads that, that spirit has given me. Spirit is telling me that this person doesn't like that you cut them off. I mean, we don't care, but um, they're going to try to create some type of upheaval in your life. Try to create some chaos. Um, they want to see you down. They want to see you. Um, they want to see your downfall, but they don't recognize that you're a divine and being source of light, and that that's the reason why you cut them off. The reason why you deaded the relationship and, and cut this off or cut this connection off was because that they had this type of energy. You saw this type of energy. You saw that they were the type of person that were envious and jealous of other people. And that's why you probably could you know, release them and let them go because of this exact behavior. So now they're in their fields. Wow. Imagine that. And they want to see your downfall. They want to see you um, or create a people in your life or create some type of disasters in your life. They may call your job and, and make false accusations about you. Um, they may try to contact your family and make lies up about you, Spirit is saying, if you're still in contact with your family or people around you. They may be spreading lies on social media about you. They may be in a group chat, Spirit is saying, talking about you. It's like, do these people have anything else to do? Ancestors, what is it about this? This clingy chaos. It's like, and what a lot of people realize is that, you know, when we start to vibrate higher and we elevate and we heal and we grow, we no longer want to be pulled down to things that no longer serve us. It's low vibrational, low level shit for us. We can't keep going up and elevate when we have these negative things that keep pulling us back down. And that's when we got to cut the cords and release it. And that pisses people off. And instead of using that energy 
and and their own life force energy to take a look at themselves and to say you know what why is this per i wonder what it is that what went on or most people know what the fuck they do um they use their energy instead of healing they're using their energy to create upheaval and chaos in your life make it make sense ancestors speak to me and i'm going to read the book because i'm reading the book more with my ancestor deck because i find it very uh powerful so we have number 42 which is six miracles in motion mother of god <clears throat> get the book here <clears throat> You are the architect of your own existence when you tap into the wisdom of the great mother that you have within. Heaven and the earth are connected through you, but still you doubt yourself. Believe in you now. Birthing miracles is easy for you. Trust your inner voice. You are being divinely guided and are much wiser than you think. Be easy and deliberate as you move forward, but do move forward. So if these energies are coming back into your life and trying to pull you down, it's important for you to keep moving forward, to remember why you cut these energies off. Don't um, glorify the past. A lot of times, you know, people like only when they think about someone in the past, they it's easy to forget the bad memories. It's easy to forget the betrayal. It's easy to forget. So, I mean, sometimes it, it depends how deep it goes. And then they start romanticizing the history. You know, like, oh, we did have a good time together. We did it. Da, da, da. Keep moving forward. Don't go backwards. <clears throat> uh, Mother God shows up as uh, Yoruba goddess uh, with the nurturing energy of protection, love, and support. Her energy is ancient and maternal. She is the uh, primordial source of all existence, mother of all the gods and all living things. We are all, we are all her children. Uh, this is Mother God energy. Balance your yin energy to bring the healing you require. My child, receive your wisdom, receive your guidance, receive your truth and well-being. We can learn things the easy way and we can learn things the hard way. Every time you ignore the inner mother voice within, you are choosing a more difficult path. Um, the tarot correspondence is Juna and that's from the 18th century um, Marsalis tarot deck um and this actually is the high priestess so this is considered the high priestess card um and so this card also represents that all things are possible that all things i just got a confirmation uh that all things are possible for you and so and that's what th these energies don't like that they see that they, all these things are possible for you and so if you start to feel people's energy these people you've cut off you start to feel them pulling on you again cleanse your energy and you can cleanse with selenite you can cleanse with a salt water bath. You can cleanse with burning sage. You can cleanse with burning the manifestation candle that I offer um, <laughs> of removing negative energies. There's all kinds of ways you can clean, uh, cleanse your energy. And it's also simply as calling back your energy. I call back all my energy immediately from every dimension, plane, field, or ether. And also, I do not consent to any negative energies or entities, seen or unseen, felt or unfelt, known or unknown, from any dimension, plane, field, or ether. I remove all cords, all ties, all binds, any one trying to tap into my energy anybody who is sending me ill will or negative energy or evil eye that's abundance in my pockets anybody who sends me evil eye or anything negative my pockets fatten or whatever it is that um how you want to flip getting the evil eye that's a good way to transmute some of that energy those are just a few examples i will actually going to do a video on an amazing visual med meditation you can do for cord cutting um, for immediate results and for long term um, if you're just at work or whatever but anyway so spirit is saying that if you're feeling these people pulling on your energy and they keep trying to create this chaos and stuff you're protected you already know that we know this already this is just to be mindful of people popping back up into your life and not romanticizing the past because sometimes people will like i've said in previous readings rooms on time but as i said in previous readings people will create and cast illusions on you for you to kind of forget to have your memory kind of clouded so you don't remember the betrayal and the horrible things and the reasons why you left this clingy person alone they probably left them because they were a little clingy they were they were pulling too much on your energy and they weren't doing their own healing work and that's where you're like you know what it's time for me to go so you did the right thing so I hope this is beneficial to those. I hope you're healthy and happy, full of joy. May you love and be loved, you guys. Heal. Don't harm. Have a great night. Thank you.